So Umi, our Egyptian mummy, came to us in 2009 as a generous gift from the Cincinnati Art Museum. The mummy is approximately about 1900 years old. Uh, it has a radiocarbon date. Uh, the raw date is in the middle of the second century AD. So it's a very late Egyptian mummy, pretty much known as the Roman period. The Romans had essentially conquered Egypt and took over, but the everyday functions in life remained the same. People died, they were still mummified. It's kind of a mystery. We know we have a three to five year old boy, but we really are not sure how he died or how he lived or how important he actually is. So there's a number of things that we would like to learn from Umi. And when we did the original CAT scans back in 2009, we were hopeful that we would find a cause of death or trauma. It really wasn't any smoking gun. So this time around, we thought, well, let's take another look. So it's been 10 years. Scanning technology has gotten better, uh, but in particular, the processing technology of those scanning results has gotten better. So, so far we have seen uh, just some still images of both the single slice x-rays and the CAT scans. We're looking at one instance of perhaps uh, a, a sort of a cranial fracture, but whether that is uh, post-mortem or, or you know, something to do with the cause of death, we don't know yet. So we're gonna have to have some people, probably other than radiologists and get pediatricians and so forth, people to look at that. We use these minimally invasive techniques or minimally destructive uh, because in the past, the, the, with the study of mummies, uh, and this is going back probably 100 years ago or more, they opened these mummies. They would open up the wrappings. They would take off the cartonnage. They wanted to see the body. But it's kind of like an orange. When you take the peel off of an orange, uh, the, the peel protects it. So we don't want to unwrap these. We wanted to use the most minimally invasive techniques that we could, and thankfully, medical technology has those techniques today to see what's inside of it. And not only that, we can actually reconstruct a physical model of the body, the amulets, the board it's resting on, and anything else. And that's pretty cool for museums because we want to reconstruct what's there without actually touching it.